Mother Earth. Scientists estimate millions of living species inhabiting the Earth's surface, from beetles to lions to humans. Within the borders of New York State lie the Adirondack Mountains, a state park known by residents and tourists alike for its natural wonders and beauty. However, climate change may alter this landscape in unforeseen and unpredictable ways. Yeah, well, if you look at the emerald ash borer, which is not here, if it does get here, that will kill its host within three years, and that will drastically change the forest composition of this area. We have a lot of ash trees. Um, forest managers are already starting to, to alter long-term forest management plans based on emerald ash borer being here. So that's something that's having an effect now, even though it's not here yet. We can stop greenhouse gas emissions, that will slow it down for sure, but we're not doing that yet. Um, you know, eventually the CO2 will work its way out of the atmosphere, the methane will work its way out more quickly, although that's more potent than CO2. But it's uh, not going to happen overnight. There's a time lag already, what we've emitted today will not have full effect in the atmosphere for, what, 30 or 40 more years. And so even if we stop all emissions today, which of course won't happen, can't happen, uh, there's still a time lag. It's going to get worse for 30, 40 years, even if we did that. Places are attempting to do just that, reduce their carbon emissions. Places like Saranac Lake, New York. Well, our main uh, heating system is oil-fired hot water uh, with two older boilers, uh, large water content. And approximately three years ago, they started the process to install a pellet boiler, uh, not necessarily to take the place of the oil fired, but to help supplement. Uh, they went for it for two different reasons. First reason obviously being money, <laughs> looking to save the school district money. Uh, the second reason was also trying to be greener and try to get off of fossil fuels and get onto more renewable energy. The $350,000 pellet boiler project cost the Saranac Lake School District $50,000, the New York State Energy and Research Development Authority putting in the rest. Vernon James said the pellet boiler was well worth the price, cutting the district's fuel cost in half, from 60,000 gallons of fuel oil to 30,000 gallons per year. We're very pleased with what we've got and the savings that we've got and stuff now. Uh, and we are looking at doing a capital project in the next one to three years. And yes, we're seriously considering installing uh, pellet boilers in uh, the other buildings, at least one other. People might coexist with nature if they only recognize the savings of renewable energy for the cost of climate change. The operation of causes set in action by man has brought the face of the earth to a desolation almost complete as that of the moon. Those words were written by George Perkins Marsh in 1864. In his book, Man and Nature, he foretold of a time when deforestation led to uninhabitable deserts.